This short video film covers the technical requirements of 48 volts DC power plant manufactured by Statcon Power Controls Limited based on high frequency switch mode techniques for the use by Indian railways for telecom installations such as telephone exchanges, multiplexing equipments, microwave radio equipments, GSMR equipments, Tetra equipments, OFC equipments, etc. This power plant will work either with valve regulated lead acid or conventional lead acid batteries. The main advantage of the switch mode power supply is greater efficiency because the switching transistor dissipates little power when acting as a switch. These are smaller in size and lighter in weight due to elimination of heavy line frequency transformers and lower heat generation. The AC input, phase neutral and earth for this charger is taken by a cable through top hole and terminated accordingly on AC terminal block. The positive wires of battery and load normally red and negative wires of battery and load normally black are also terminated on terminal block inside the power plant. Positive to positive and negative to negative through top holes. This typical power plant consists of 4 SMRs, switch mode rectifiers of 25 amperes each to cater for higher load requirements in parallel load sharing arrangement. Technical specification of switch mode rectifier Type Statcon 4825 AC input voltage 230 volts RMS single phase 90 volts to 300 volts DC output voltage settings nominal 48 volts DC auto float 52.8 volts DC auto charge 57 volts DC Load voltage tolerance 44.4 volts to 60 volts DC. Output current LIMT 27.5 ampere for each module. Controls and indications. At the left hand side of front panel, it has an incoming MCB used for switching on or off the AC input. At the right hand side of the front panel, it has four input MCBs used for switching on or off the individual SMRs. At the middle top of the front panel, there is a display system. The display shows left corner of the display at first line it shows the phase to neutral voltage connected to system middle of the display at first line shows DC load voltage right corner of the display at first line shows FC in float mode and BC in boost mode left corner of the display at second line shows battery voltage. Right corner of the display at second line shows load current with symbol T. Right corner of the display at second line it shows battery current. To see the battery current press increase for 3 seconds. The system will display battery current with symbol B within 10 seconds. For 
any fault, the system will give alarm and display FLT with blinking effect till the fault goes. Press enter to see the faults. The list of faults will be displayed within 30 seconds and buzzer will stop ringing. There are four adjustment keys on front panel. Set, increase, decrease and enter. To come to normal mode, press enter. To see the parameter values, press set for 3 seconds. The system will play login user set. Press set again to choose fact set. Except float, boost and BCL, all are factory settings. Do not disturb these settings. To change the parameters values, first select the parameter. To increase the value of selected parameter, press increase. To decrease the value of selected parameter, press decrease. To register, store the set value, press enter. To restore the default user setting, first select the restore user set of user set login mode then press increase key and decrease key simultaneously for 4 seconds switch mode rectifier module status and alarm indication this power supply has 4 SMRs following indication LEDs are provided on the front of each rectifier module Mains. It indicates that main supply of the module is on. Float. This indication shows that the module is in float mode of charging. Boost. This indication shows that the module is in boost mode of charging. Overload or short circuit. This shows that the module is overload. There is more than 60 volts. Under voltage, this shows that the output DC voltage of the module is low, that is less than 44.4 volts. Output fail, this indication shows that the output DC of the module is not available. Over voltage, this shows that the output DC voltage of the module have exceeded normal output operating range. Over temperature, this indicates that the temperature of the module inside is more. Each MCR has display system for display its output voltage. Other than it, each MCR has two ports for measuring voltages with the help of multimeter. Current can also be measured by pressing a switch provided on MCRs. Do's Keep all the module in on position. Set equal voltage in all modules for proper current sharing. Set battery path current to AH10. Set battery voltages according to type of battery as given below. Type of battery SMF battery Float voltage 2.25 volts per cell Boost voltage 2.30 volts per cell. Type of battery LM battery. Float voltage 2.20 volts per cell. Boost voltage 2.40 volts. Don'ts. Do not 
take out plugs of modules when working. Do not connect battery when modules are on position. Do not connect battery in reverse polarity. Thank you.